So, in this video, I will be showing you how to install Windows on your Steam Deck. To do so, you will need a USB drive, you will need a Steam Deck, and you will also need a dock like so. This is just an anchor on some USB ports, or you just use a dongle adapter. Steam OS. Windows, let me just Xbox Hey. This is a demonstration to show that it works. As you can see, this is fully functional. Once Steam starts up, you can use the joysticks and anything else to make them just use the controls. So, to get started, you will need your flash drive with the SteamOS recovery on it. So, what you'll need to do is, is you will need a tool like Rufus, and you need to download the image from Valve's recovery page. So, what you need to do is, is you um, make sure your USB is selected, and then next to boot selection, press select, then press Steam Deck repair it should look like this the name double click it all the settings will be imported from the image itself so you don't need to change anything all you need to do is press start and press ok once done simply make sure that your steam deck is shut down and connect your dock to your steam deck so you will want to look like this and insert your USB drive. To enter the boot manager, simply hold down the minus button on top and press the power button until it makes the boot noise. Release. I'm gonna let go, now I'm in the boot manager. So you then just select your USB and then you can boot into the Steam recovery environment. Once in the recovery image, open KDE Partition Manager. I am not in the re recovery image, so I have to enter my password because I'm in the regular desktop environment. So. Select your drive with SteamOS installed. Mine is the Samsung drive. And then select the partition with SteamOS on it, which is this one for me here. And it should be the same thing for you. And when you select it, it should have, uh, it should say slash home. Then you want to press resize slash move at the top here. And then select this e in the menu, the, either the slider at the top to set how much storage SteamOS will have. Make sure that there is enough space for Windows to be installed. I recommend 100 gigabytes or more. You can also use this um, menu bit here. So once you've done that, press OK. You will now have a part called free space. So I've already done this. So mine is an NTFS partition, but yours would show up as free space. So select the free space. Make sure it's selected then press new and then you would locate the NTFS partition from the drop down menu. Now, if you don't format it, when you next boot into SteamOS, it will reclaim the free space. So you have to format it. Make sure that you remember how big your storage set was for the Windows partition. Otherwise, you will run into the risk of deleting SteamOS when installing Windows. To shut down your Steam Deck, simply hold down the power button until everything is turned off. To move on to the Windows install, simply get your USB drive with Windows on it out. So I've got 25H2 Preview on mine to get the Xbox full screen experience. To install Windows, you can either use the Windows Media Creation Tool or Rufus like I have uh, to install a specific build of Windows. To get the full screen experience and 
the correct ISO, I recommend pausing the video and reading the guide that is in the description if you also wish to have the full experience. So once you have your ISO file, you can open Rufus like so and press select next to boot selection to get your ISO. Select your custom ISO like if you've done it like me. Press open and follow the guide settings and then press start. You can then change the settings in the Windows user experience when you press start if you want. Just follow the guide settings yet again. Press OK. Once you have your Windows USB drive, swap your USBs around so that your Windows one is now plugged in. Then simply hold the volume minus button and press the power button and release it when you hear the vibration or the sound, like that. Release it when you see a logo, or in my case, a text. And now we have entered the boot manager. Simply you select your USB drive. and proceed to the standard Windows install. Once you reach this page, make sure that you select the correct partition or you will wipe the SteamOS partition. The rest is smooth sailing after choosing the partition. Now you will need to go to Valve support page to download all the drivers. Once complete, we will now move on to the Clover Boot Manager steps. So what you'd want to do is, is you'd want to go to CMD, Run as Administrator, press Yes. And then you would want to enter the commands, which should be on screen now and are also in the description to paste. Now you will need to shut down your deck and hold the volume up button and press the power button. Then choose boot from file and select ESP slash EFI slash SteamOS slash steamcl.efi then give it some time to boot back into SteamOS and jump into desktop mode now run these commands which are also in the description run the commands which I will leave on screen now and in the description to copy and paste once you've done that that's really it you now have a dual booting Steam Deck so you can play your favourite Windows games like Fortnite or Call of Duty or Black Ops 6 and you can also still enjoy SteamOS.